Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Initially, I want to make a video opening this product. But, OCG, Yu-Gi-Oh! have just dropped lots of news today. And one of them is really exciting and interesting to me. And it has to do with the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, let's jump into the video. Today on Sunday, OCG Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, social media sites have been bombarding us with lots of news of the upcoming product, lineup, uh, card reveals, card teaser, artwork book and so on. One of them caught my interest because it has something to do with Blue Eyes White Dragon. And it's a reveal of a card that will be coming to the OCG Quarter Century Dualist Box this December 23rd. And it's a fusion monster card. Uh, the name is Dragon Magia Ma Master. Uh, you might be familiar with the artwork because it was uh, in the past we have a similar card. I think it's called Dragon Master. Something something is a blue eyes ultimate dragon with black luster soldier riding on it. But this time it's the Chaos Magician. Um, so it's a level 12. Light Dragon Fusion Effects. Let's go through the uh, effects that have been teased to us for now. Uh, the requirement, we require Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon or 3 Blue Eyes Monster and 1 Chaos of Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster. So, that means all we need is either 3 of these with uh, Black Luster uh, or even a, a chaos ritual monster such as chaos max dragon Bl magician of black chaos max illusion of chaos magician of chaos so on and so forth now uh on first impression you might be thinking oh this is like a mix between blue eyes and dark magician so it's more like a gimmick uh card but it's actually not and i think in my opinion it's more specialized to blue eyes white dragon let's read for dawn with the effect of course must be fusion summon so you cannot cheat it with cards like uh, waking the dragon the effect the first effect when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect you can negate the activation and if you do destroy that card you can only activate this effect of this card names in response to each card type monster spell trap once per turn so uh, if I'm not mistaken, you correct me if I'm wrong, uh, the first effect is basically, basically a negation effect. Finally, uh, Blue Eyes have a monster that can negate other card effects. And it can, although it's once per turn, it can negate monster effect, spell effect and trap effect independently. So there's a chances of up to 3 negations in a single turn, if I'm not mistaken. Still, I think the effect is quite balanced, it's not like Dragoon. The second effect, if these face-up cards leave the field by your opponent, you can special summon one Blue Eyes Monster, or one Chaos Ritual Monster, or one Black Luster Soldier Ritual Monster from your graveyard. Oh, extra deck. Oh, now this is big. Uh, I didn't read about the extra deck part before this. So, uh, if you want to dissect, the second effect is if this card leave the field either by banishing either by um, destruction and so on you can special one blue eyes monster or one chaos ritual monster or one black luster soldier ritual monster from the graveyard okay so the ritual stuff is basically from the graveyard i assume you have to properly ritual uh, summon first before you can activate the uh, you activate the revival effect on that set ritual cards uh, as for blue eyes monster, it's said blue eyes monster, not blue eyes white dragon. There's a lots of lineup we can revive from, such as blue eyes alternative dragon, blue eyes abyss dragon. Uh, where is it? Blue eyes jet dragon, which is probably going to be my favorite card to revive uh, off. Uh, as well as summoning blue eyes fu fusion monster. That's not necessarily required to be. Uh, fusion summon specifically in order to summon such as blue eye alternative ultimate dragon uh, of course 
another copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon here. Blue Eyes Ultimate. Yeah, so that is that is very strong effect. So you have chances now if you manage to uh, ritual summon properly. For example, Blue Eyes Chaos Max, you can revive it if that fusion monster just now leave the field. Or you can even summon a new fusion monster such as the Blue Eye Alternative Ultimate Dragon. This uh, is kind of interesting because uh, in the OCG and TCG, I think there's only one printing. Asia English haven't had the printing of Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. And I'm not so sure if they're going to reprint it in the future with the old artwork or with a new artwork since, you know, uh, Kazuki Takahashi Sensei has already passed away. And this artwork is hand drawn to him. I don't know. I don't know whether there's some sort of legality have to do with that. So yeah, that's the fusion monster that I'm looking forward into. It's really strong. Uh, just take note that you can't really summon chaos monster. You cannot use chaos monster necessarily for material. So you cannot use any of these as material. It has to be a chaos ritual monster. Also, uh, I I already seen somewhere in the comment section in the social media people saying that this card is hard to uh, summon because it's Squire Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon blah blah blah. You can only use King of the Swarm. Substitute substitute it as a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Yeah. Uh, and also you can use Waking the Dragon first turn, set it up. Opponent most likely to destroy it, summon. Uh, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and then use that as a material as well. Now, um, should you include Dark Magician's cards? In my opinion, for now at least, at first impression, you don't need because it's only going to like uh, bricks your deck. The Blue Eyes already bricky as it is, it doesn't need any more bricks in it. And the fact that you can use other Chaos Ritual Monster makes it much more easier. Uh, Assume someone might try to use greater polymerization to summon this monster. It's going to be a little bit hard, almost gimmicky. Uh, but you can try and have an additional effect of protecting your monster. Uh, ultimate fusion. I don't think. No, wait. Actually, it's, you can because if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you can use the material from the graveyard as well. So yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Dragon Mirror is also another good option since uh, Blue Eyes usually like to dump their big dragons into the graveyard for further plays. And of course, the good old polymerizations as uh, the spell card needed to fusion summon this card. I assume this is not the final support card for Blue Eyes next year that we'll be getting. Um, I'm interested to see what other support Blue Eyes might be getting. I mean, it is the 25th anniversary. They're going to uh, make as much support as possible, I imagine, for the most favorite archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, uh, interesting thing to note, uh, you can summon Blue, Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon easily uh, without the need to search it from the hand first if you use High Ritual Art. And you can use high ritual art uh, if you have blue eyes in your hand, and then summon blue eyes chaos max dragon, and then now you have not you have one uh, half of the material to summon uh, this dragon magia master. So yeah, guys, uh, that's it. I'm very excited to see this deck and uh, uh, this card coming out next. Uh, I assume Asia English might getting it sooner than the TCG. This product seems like something that TCG will push into Battle of Chaos or uh, Mega Teens or the March set side set products. So yeah, um, finger cross. Asia English get it first. I would like to test it, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people testing this card already. Um, yeah, I see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. You can help support this channel by clicking on the like button, dropping a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content. There's also a link in the description down below to tcgplayer.com and inkgaming.com. I also have few awesome playmat designs at inkgaming, so be sure to check it out.
Check out these few recommended videos as well. Thank you once again for the support and I see you guys in the next video.